Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to do something a bit different. Um, it's about adding uh, CB air, animated CB air rules into any mod, um, tractor, be it tractors or combines or any vehicle. Um, what you'll need first is you'll need a copy of um, Giants Editor. I would, if I just open the page. So you get it from uh, the GDN Giants Developers Network. You have to log in uh, to download. It's free. So you just log in. And then you have to get Notepad++. I like Notepad++ because it's easier. And then if you type in uh, WinZip or WinRAR, WinZip, WinRAR, so you just go into the WinRAR uh, and then you download. Uh, so you can download the latest version uh, and uh, you don't have to pay for it guys so there's the download i'll put it in the description anyway of all what you need so once you've installed them guys um what you need is to find this animated cb aerial which is uh i've got one here and uh, i copied it out of the mod and then you need to add a few lines of text into your into your XML as well. So we'll uh, we'll we'll tell you how to do that in a bit. So what we'll do first is if you uh, you, you I did to the uh, John Deere six R extra large this series. So right click and then extract large series. So it happens to go over to my other screen. So I'll drag it across. So then you'll see it is extract, extracted and uh, it should look like this guys so that's what it should should look like so all you need to do is uh, get your anim a animated cb uh, folder copy anim uh, cb and cb shapes so, X, uh, so the id3 and the 3d shapes into the uh, directory on the uh on the mod that you're doing and then what you need to do is you need to open this uh series 6r i3d so that'll be the tractor guys so when that opens you will see another window pop up and it comes up like this so i'm going to do the 9.3 uh giants editor so when that opens up you will see it as soon as it's ready so it should look like this guys and that's the main the main uh the main window so basically now what you need to do is you need to uh, on this one you need to do the main uh component one and then the six r root so that'll do it all so what you do is import and then you go to the directory so it's on the desktop it's large and then it's the cb aerial so as you can see the cb aerial is in so we're just going to place it where we want it so anybody who uses ge will know how to do this it is quite a, a quite a daunting task if you don't know how to do it um, but so you can rotate and all that good stuff so I'm going to stick it to the side, put it up, up slightly, and try and get it standing up. I'm going to move it in a bit, so it's just just touching, but it's on a bracket. So that that's probably going to be where I want it, and we'll put it up a bit more. So that's where I want it, guys. So uh, basically, if you edit, uh, click on the uh, antenna mount uh, right, and then you can uh, click it, and then make sure you highlight it and, and uh, cut, and then you want to do it into the root series, and then paste. Comes back there, guys, and it's in in its own. A transfer a file transform group now. Uh, so what we'll do is 
we need to keep on going down and down and down until we get to the end of this antennas. There's antenna five. So you need, need to click that, guys. And then uh, because you need the index file path, so uh, we, we'll need to copy that to put in the file XML. So uh, what we'll do is we'll get rid of that window for a second. And then uh, we'll open the series six R dot XML, which will be there. So basically what you're looking for now is the suspension. So we keep going down, keep going down. It's, uh, I, I don't know how, how far it is, but uh, as soon as we see suspension, we'll see it. The wheels, the wheel configurations. So there are all the wheels. Uh, dynamic load, real lights, attaches, power takeoffs. Uh, keep going, exhausts, driving animations, moving parts, uh, wipers, connection hoses. So there's suspension, guys. So in in this one. So if you go to the end of the end of the end of the suspension, just put a space, guys. And then what you need to do is you need to go back into that uh, add to XML text, and you need to copy all this there. Copy, and then bring your XML. the uh, 6R XML, click and then paste, and it comes in. So all this is aerials, guys, as it says there. So basically, you remember the uh, node, the uh, index path that we said on the i3D? We need to take a note of that one, so right click and copy. That can now can be saved and shut down. And then you need to copy it into this one. So paste. And then what you need to do is put 14 in there. 14 in there. 14 in there. And 14 in there. Right now, what you need to do is make sure there are one zero below each each time. So you just take a zero and a dash off, and that's it. So that's how it should look. Two, three, four, five, and then six. So that's all you do, guys. You don't do anything else. So you can save that now. So we'll save it, and then we'll exit that one. And that's it, guys. So it's all done now. So uh, basically, now I can remove the uh, six, uh, the backup file. So I'll delete that one. And now what we'll do is we'll open up the mod folder, which should be here somewhere. So we'll open another uh, folder up. I do apologize, guys. I am trying to do it on the other screen as well. So this is the farming simulator. Uh, mods folder, so it's in this PC documents, my games, Farmer Simulator, uh, 22, 2022, and then mods. So I'll take the one that I've already got on uh, out. So it is John Deere, and it's the large, extra large frame series. So we'll take that one out, guys. So we'll move that to desktop when it moves. Should do in a second. Don't know whether it has. So I've got one already on there, so I will uh, replace. So it doesn't matter if I replace it because they're all the same one. So we'll uh, take that out. We'll shut that up. So we've just taken it out of the mods folder now. So it's there. 
So uh, what we'll do is we'll go back to desktop and we'll grab that folder that's there that we opened, put it into uh, far, uh, into the uh, John Deere, into the uh, mods folder, unzipped, uh, just to make sure it works. And then what we'll do is we'll put uh, we'll go on to game capture in a second. So we'll we'll open up uh, Farming Simulator 22, and we'll wait for that to load, guys. So we do have to get rid of that one. Put that one on. So this is Farming Simulator 22. So what we should be able to do now is go into Korea and then we'll go into a, a, a save game, guys. Uh, so we'll go into Carmsden and we'll make sure it's uh, selected. So be the John Deere large frame 6, 6R and then we'll press start and wait for it to load up. Wait for that to load up, guys, and then as soon as that's loaded up, we'll uh, see if it's worked. So we'll press start, and then we'll go to buy, and in the, it's in medium tractors, and then we'll scroll till we see this uh, large one, and hopefully you'll be able to see there is a um, a CB aerial in. So we'll just put buy that one, guys. And then we'll come back out of there. And then we'll tab. Till we get to it to the shop. So there it is, guys. So as you can see, the CB arrow's on. And if I start going round, moving, you can see the CB aerial does move. Rocks backwards and forwards. From side to side. So then guys, that's how you add a CB aerial in. So what we'll do now is uh, we'll come up, come off the game capture and we'll go back onto the screen capture. So now what you have to do guys is obviously you have to close um, close the game down. So you will have to close the game down. So bear with me a second. So we'll quit game because I don't want to save it. And we'll quit. <clears throat> and then you can get into your um, mods folder again. So you take that onto your desktop, double click on it. And then that's where you just put the CB. So if you select all, right click on one of the selected items, add to archive, and then press the zip. It'll go into a zip file, guys. <clears throat> then you move the zip file to the mods folder, and that's it, guys. It's all done. So that is how you add a. Um, animated uh, CB aerial in uh, 2020, 2022. So if you have liked what you see, please do give it a thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching. And until the next time, guys, bye for now.